What's up everybody, Aaron with Simplicy, and we're coming to you today with a quick one. Are you tired of Google tracking everywhere you go? And if it's not Google, it's a different Facebook or, or a different social media platform or even ad tracking tool. There's many different types of businesses and companies who actually survive and make all of their money off of this ad tracking from your personal information. And it's kind of the issue we go into as we step further and further into 2020 and beyond in life. So. With no further ado, we're going straight into the solution. You're getting Google quality searches while at the same time not getting tracked at all. And this website is called startpage.com and it supposedly is the world's most private search engine. And you know what? I can agree with that from my experience with this, but as you know with many tools, it's all about what happens on the backside, the terms and policy agreements and everything to know what's going on. As we scroll down through this website, we're gonna go from that search part of the page to the actual content and why it, or why it does what it does in explaining all that situation. So I don't wanna take the time to read all of this word by word. I know if you're at this point of searching for a Google search engine or Google-based search engine that's 100% private, you have a pretty uh, intuitive view on what's happening here. Um, but fact of the matter is you can't beat Google when it comes down to online search. That's kind of the reason why they their search platform has grown to the place it has. And Google as a company has gained so much revenue from the advertisements that businesses and even individual people can put on Google. So lots of great things here you got quotes from the big guys your standard website where they really try and coax you in with as much credibility and information that makes sense and branding along with with the images and textiles to create that picture of this ecosystem that you're a part of and you know what i i think the most important part of searching online is the freedom of it and the fact is the matter that when the internet was made it was not uh, made on a security or privacy based sense. It was all for an educational sense through colleges and kind of just sharing informational, whether it's peer reviewed documents or just simple websites to have fun. And we've turned into this whole different society where the internet is honestly what a lot of our occupations are based off of, a lot of what every, everybody's days and lives. And um, not when I just say lives, do I mean just the information and what they do? But really, there there's websites that have so much stuff that has people's information on, which is honestly not good. But anyways, before I break off into a tangent here, uh, I'm just going to go into the little bit of the search of start page. And because the real question is like, OK, how does it work apples to apples with Google? And since we're on the, the conversation, might as well Google something like that uh, or start page, something like that. And then we're also going to pull up a Google tab here and I'm just going to go for it here. Um, so you can see the exact differences of the Google page and the start page page. So what you're going to see is there's no top area. There's no fancy Google photos and all that information, which is kind of a loss in terms of quick usability and viewing. However, when you look at the first links and everything that falls below that, you pretty much get a dead center view of Google. One thing to note is when you start looking up articles based on political things, Google will sometimes adjust which links are shown to you based off how they've kind of recognized your preferences and stuff. So you can see a difference there, but generally it's all going to be the same. And now when you do things that are like more location based, um, you're definitely going to get a whole nother story. Food near me. In this situation, we're literally just going to get some Yelp page and all that stuff on start page. And now if you were to do the same thing on your browser and Google, um, you're going to end up getting, uh, Google's going to ask for your location if you haven't already allowed it. And then from there, it's going to show you all types of foods and all that stuff in your location. And I would absolutely recommend start page as just an easy little, like, set up your search engine off of it, your homepage off of it, because it's a great way to set and forget and not get tracked anymore. But I also would highly recommend some extensions like Ghostery and as I always recommend uBlock Origin just to get yourself a better handle on blocking <laughs> Sirens. Just to get a better handle on blocking everything, because at this point, it's not just one company that's tracking you, but there's multiple different types of companies and websites that are tracking you, or different tracking tools that go across the whole internet. And changing your search engine from this start page instead of using Google is a great place to start. But there's so many aspects to focus on, and that's kind of the the struggle of all this internet stuff and the software things that are happening. Is that there's not just one thing to look at. It's like you have to understand this bigger picture
to really make the best decisions and not everybody has the time for that so that's what we're here for for you at simplicity to do that whether it's some random software tool a little quick tip like today or anything in the above and in the future we're super thankful to have you along with this video and our journey here if you have any comments please let us know we're gonna be diligent on answering those any video recommendations for the future that you're interested on or need us to do a little research for you anything like that more than happy to help so in the meantime i hope you have a great day thanks for tuning in on this quick one today peace out